In this video, I want to show you how to roll futures contracts in TradeStation 10. This is my research platform. Today is rollover day to October crude oil. You see the crude oil contract starts with CL. If you are trading micros, it's MCL. And we use that at symbol in the front. You don't have to use the at symbol, but we like to use the at symbol to get the historical back adjusted continuous contract data for the current month. So at CL... Uh, crude oil and then U is September 21 stands for 2021 and this is my research platform so I've delayed data on this setup and I have a couple of platforms on a VPS with live data but this is my backup with delayed so I'm going to show you how to do this rollover so right click and you're going to say data right click data edit symbol and you see that here. What you would do is you would change that U to a V. And so I'm also going to show you how to do this on a strategy with multiple data series. So this is SR Counter Trend 4. Right click, data, edit symbol, and you see 2 here. So it doesn't pop up. You see data 1 is at CLU21, data 2 is at CL. You're going to double click on that and then it pops up. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to change that to a V. For, for October, U is September, V is October, and then we're going to update it. We're going to say close, and you see that yellow PD. You can right-click and go to the download scheduler, and sometimes you'll see, um, if you haven't set it up correctly, it'll say off-peak um, on the priority, and you can right-click on off-peak, and then you schedule ASAP, and then it will always, then it'll give you the option to always schedule it as ASAP. So once that yellow PD goes away, you see it's gone. PD means pending data. What you want to do is you want to right click again and go data, edit symbol. And this is important because if this is the first chart you're doing this to crude oil, um, it may not, it loaded all the data, but the strategy may not see all the data. It kind of needs a refresh. You can either close and reopen the workspace, or you can do this setup where you right click data, uh, edit symbol, and then close again. See how it reloads again? It's reloading again to make sure it sees all the data. Now you can do that. There's several different ways you can do that. You can do it like I did it. Just right-click data, edit symbol, and then close. You're not really doing anything. You're just kind of reloading it. You can close and reopen the workspace, or you can right-click on the strategy and turn the strategy status off and on. And so that's how you do it. Let's see if you do it again on this chart. Change this one to V as well. This is for the 50K portfolio. And you see the pending, it also had a pending data. So you also want to go data, edit symbol, and OK, and it reloads. It reloads, now it's, and now it's ready to go. Um, and then right here, we have our third one. This one has um, three data series. You just uh, double click and do the first one. And then you do that, and you wait for it to load. And then let's do it again to see. Data, edit symbol. Close. So it didn't need to didn't need to reload because after doing these two, all the uh, data was loaded. So when it reloaded it here, it saw it. If that makes sense. So it's a little bit uh, tricky here to make sure that you have all the data loaded. But it's important that um, you have trading system signals when you do that. So make sure that you load all the data when you do that. Another thing you can do is you can check the um, data strategy performance report to see if the Signals are there. I keep short lookbacks on my strategies. Only three to seven months for automation. And so you can see that there is um, the performance summary shows up so you have historical signals. Or you can scroll back and look at the trade. So that is the best way to roll contracts in TradeStation. And I just released another video today on um, when you can, how to know in advance when to roll. We have a spreadsheet you can download.